Brett Holman, who will uh, offer support to the lone frontman Josh Kennedy. Both teams, we think tonight, playing a 4-2-3-1 shape, and it's a perfect night for football. Our referee is from England, Martin Atkinson. We've had uh, rain and cool weather pretty much all week in this part of the Netherlands, but it's uh, held off today. It's been a dry, sunny day, and the pitch is in great nick too. And Australia get us underway in their familiar green and goal. The Dutch playing in blue tonight as uh, Josh Kennedy is flagged for offside. And uh, time to introduce Robbie Slater. And Robbie, I suppose the big question for Australia tonight, it's not about the result, it's about Uzbekistan during the week. But how is this defence going to cope with this uh, very prolific Dutch front line? Well, it's certainly a, a front line full of pace, full of class, quality players. Van Persie at the top of that list. Tayson tries to set Barbel away. Van der Vaart makes for the near post. It might drop for Huntelaar! First chance of the game, buried by the man they call the Hunter, and that's why. babel has got too much pace, slides this one back. The momentum too late for the Australian defenders to turn. And that's a wonderful finish from Huntelaar. Left foot across Mark Schwartz, and no chance for the keeper. Here you see Lucas Nell's momentum's taking towards a goal and just can't readjust quick enough. Huntelaar just stops his run there. Emerton immediately sets off on a run on the right. Kalina is up in support as well. It might go towards Kalina. Good chance for Jason Kalina. Oh, he's unlucky. Great move from Australia. Brett Holman. Ball to Brett Emerton who picks out Kalina. Who's at full stretch for that. A bit unlucky. Right idea. Going back from where the ball came from. That's a very good chance for Australia. Now, quick free kick taken. Australia unaware. Heitinger in. Schwarzer comes out and blocks. And Australia just went to sleep there. They yeah, got away with it. It was actually pretty good defending from Harry Kuehl. Although he was behind him, he didn't dive in. I think he did just enough to put off Heitinger. But they fell asleep from the quick free kick. It's just a lack of concentration. They see Kuehl there tracking back. And he just does enough to put Heitinger off. Now Kuehl through. Brett Holman, Stecklenburg slow off his line, but he did enough to make the block. That was Australia's best chance of the first half without question. Well, he did in the end. Stecklenburg, but he hesitated. Good little header there from Harry Kuehl and Brett Holman's pounced on it. He comes out late, he does enough in the end. And Brett Holman might feel that he should have scored there. Well, I think there's uh, plenty for Pimba Bake to be encouraged about in this uh, first period, apart from the scoreline. Oh, Australia have played well, moved the ball around nicely, got into some promising positions, maybe just that final ball into the box or getting more bodies into the box. But they've certainly been more... I definitely think, the, particularly with Kalina's movement, they've been more mobile than the Dutch. Now, that's a mistake field. by Heitinger. Kennedy, one-on-one -on -one with Stecklenburg. Martin Atkinson looked towards his assistant. And he will point to the spot and issue a red card to Martin Stecklenburg. There's he can the, blame the Heitinger. Though, it's Heitinger's fault. It's not a good ball back. He's going for the ball, he's, he's clearly got Josh Kennedy, but he is going for the ball. Now it's going to be Harry Kuehl, Australia of course missed a penalty against the Netherlands, courtesy of Mark Viduka two years ago. His former Leeds teammates has the chance to tie it up. Harry Kuehl scores for Australia, it's one apiece. High drama in Eindhoven, but perhaps that goal is no more than Australia deserved. Straight down the middle from Harry Kuehl. Keeper chooses one way to the right-hand side. Cool as you like, Harry Kuehl. He's actually laughing before he took that. Looked very relaxed, and he certainly took it very calmly.
And Bronkhorst tries to hit Dirk Coit, and there was a little yeah, was nudge a... there by David Carney. Yeah, it was enough. It's a foul. Silly foul, too, in that sort of position. Van Persie has gone off, but Van der Vaart in a great left peg. Just the long ball, you see there the push from David Carney. Won't get too many chances, perhaps. Second half with ten men. Van der Vaart. Hey. Schwartz acclaims. Yeah, good positional play from Mark Schwartz. Backing his wall. Van der Vaart certainly hit it with enough power. Perfect positional sense from Schwartz. Bresciano. Give Jitte one to chase. Didn't really pick his spot with the cross. Picked up though by Colina. Australia threatening here. Wilkshire's ball. Kennedy's header. Goal. Josh Kennedy's fourth strike at international level. And the Socceroos incredibly lead the fourth ranked nation in the world by two goals to one. Well, you always felt that if you just got the right delivery for Josh Kennedy, he was going to get a goal. Again, he gets in between Oya and I think it was De Jong back there. That no, was Matthijsson picking him up, actually. He gets caught square onto the ball. Oya's picking no one up. It's the perfect header. It's the perfect cross. He doesn't go for power on the header. He just flicks it. I'll tell you what this will do, it'll make Uzbekistan stand now, up. Now, Coit, oh, could have scored and maybe should have scored. It's a corner, I think Schwartz have got a piece of that, which should go down, therefore. There's a great stop. Well, you're talking about the direct route, that's exactly what they did. Forward to Hesselink, and Coit should have scored. Australia have every right to celebrate, and they intend to do just that, the Green and Gold Army. As victory is confirmed for the first time against the Dutch at any level. And just a second defeat in 13 years for the Netherlands at this stadium. Pim Verbeek puts one over his mate Bert van Marbeek and one over the country of his birth. A real morale boost for Australia. A crushing disappointment for the Netherlands. And it's victory for the Socceroos over the team ranked four in the world.